scheduled and making up for number seven, the 06 of Dave LaRock out of Port Colburn. So that is the way they are scheduled to. Ah, Brad Alver did make it out, so able to get the 0 1 back in competition.
also a debris caution out on the speedway over turn number two. Okay. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a black GMC pickup with the license plate Johnny C, black GMC pickup Johnny C, it must be moved from its current location. So seven laps complete in our Frontier Autos Mammoth Pierce Stock race. Caution that Leroy Buscombe did not want to see as he has a healthy lead on our field, but he, as leader he has lane choice, he's going to choose the inside line. Right next to him will be the 14 S at Space Smith. Leroy Buscombe got a Take the lead that he had. Keep the lead. Back to the third stop, that is the Grand Hammer Booker, but Oliver Rock had one of his better runs. Time for 91. John Mineski, that is right front flat fit, so he's back underway and maybe a last four or two down. He's going to like to gain every position that he can. That's the word that we're going to do. Next spot is up to lead with Sam Otani and pulling up on the base. Mason Smith, number 14S. So the second spot, oh, a little bit of bumper tag from Otani on the base. And we're getting very high. $75 and growing, but they will check Brad anyways. Zero one back onto its four wheels. 
momentarily. But you want to make sure Brad gets out a okay. Nicely. Should be, should be a lap or two and back underway. All right. White flag in the hands of Johnny Beach. So next time around, we should be getting the combination of green white. Should be followed by the checkered flag in our future. First injury event of the night here on the rebound tonight here on the speedway.
and the JC Allen Pink pace car will be heading to the infield momentarily. And he does make his way up and Roy Buston will leave the field through the green and set the base on his restart. Picking up victory number three of this.